In this video, we're going to talk about drag and drop versus cut and paste. Um, in most word processing applications, I'm in Word right now, you can drag and drop text and move it around versus cutting and pasting. For example, if I want to take this word level and I want to put it in front of the word hospital, I can just double click on the word, click and drag it right in front of the word hospital. That's the drag and drop. Okay. Now, you could do that in InDesign as well, but unfortunately, it's not a straight out the box functionality. So let's say, for example, right now I'm in InDesign and I want to put this word academy behind the word pedi uh, pediatrics. Now, when I double click on it, I can't move it. All right. So let's fix that. What you want to do is you want to go up to InDesign drop down to preferences, slide over to type. And once you do that, you want to enable drag and drop text editing, enable and layout view, tap on that. And we'll say, okay. Now that I did that, you're going to notice when I hover over the word Academy, you're going to notice that the pointer has a little T that appears next to it. That means that now I can take this text and I can move it anywhere I want. And as you, as you see right now, I'm going to move it right after the word pediatrics. So that's how the drag and drop feature works in InDesign. But in addition to that, now this is not part of the drag and drop feature, but it's also a feature that you have in InDesign that is straight out the box. And that is if you're in a table, which I am, you can highlight the column. And in this, I mean, I'm sorry, the row. And in this example, I want to make this third row the second row. So you notice once I highlight the row and I mouse over the row, you'll see the pointer now has like a little grid next to it. What I do now is at the top of that row that I highlighted, I take it and I drag it up to where I want it, the new position to be. And as you can see there, that dark blue highlight, I release it. And now I've just, I've just moved. I tapped on it. I drag or drug and dropped the new row. Uh, the, the third row into the second slot. So you have that same drag and drop functionality in tables as well as text. So that's how you can work with drag and drops, drag and drop in InDesign.